a 17-story apartment building, toppled on its side. Most of the people killed were inside this building when the quake hit. Hundreds were injured. Rescue teams searched through the rubble. Okay, as you can see from the previous video, the aftermath of earthquake are very terrible and many search and rescue operations need to be carried out. By following the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals 11 to 5, which targets to reduce the effects of natural disaster, we create a search and rescue robot that is called Centipede Pro Rescue. The robot is flexible and can enter all kinds of disaster areas to carry out search and rescue activity. This robot can be controlled by human using controller at minimum distance of 100 meters away and is robust. For the literature review part, we have referred to some articles for the design of our robot. Online survey was conducted and we have included some features in our robot based on the feedback from our respondents. Live streaming camera was included to view the real-time condition and situation of the robot. GPS tracker to track the exact location and accurate coordinate of the robot. Lastly, we have also added ultrasonic sensor to detect and avoid obstacles which can be seen through the camera due to blind spot. Project planning consists of test distribution and feasibility of plan. Hazim, our project director, he organized and coordinate meetings. Angel, our secretary, she kept records of all group activities. Lim, Bruce Chajera, she manages the project account flow. Najmi, electrical engineer, he lead the testing and analyzing the prototype. Shazan, mechanical engineer, he lead the prototype designing. Nazmi, video creator, he lead the video designing process. Feasibility of plan, technical feasibility. For the material, each group was given 300 ringgit to complete the project. Economic feasibility. After doing some research and surveys, the initial cost for the prototype was 121 ringgit and 5 cent, which was cheaper than the targeting budget. So, this is slide for methodology of Centipede Pro robot. First, connect the robot with a battery. And then, turn on the Blink application that use customer setting on the phone or laptop. Third, Connect the robot first with the Wi-Fi, then connect the laptop with the same Wi-Fi. Fourth, uh, monitor the robot camera projector using IP address in the laptop. And number five, use the Blink application to control the robot movement. Detect sound, detect obstacle, and alert with the victim using the robot. <laughs> To the next point. After some findings and truth data research, our team agreed that there are currently many types of rescue robots. However, most of the robots are huge and difficult to be carried around the disaster area. Besides that, many existing rescue robots are very expensive. Therefore, with Centipede Pro Rescue, the problems can be solved as it does not cost much to be built and it is very small and can be carried easily. Thus, it helps to ease the search and rescue process whenever an unavoidable disaster happens so that more life can be saved in a short time. Project Demonstration Centipede Pro Rescue CPR This project consists of four main specialties. The main objective is to ease the search and rescue operation. Since the MCO occur, I will explain four important parts and design. Design of CPR consists of three parts, body, head, and tail. Head part consists of two motor, one ultrasonic sensor, one camera, and one microphone. For body part, 
consists of one not MCU ESP8266 and one GPS. Tail part consists of two 3.7 volt battery. The dimension for CPR length is 150 mm, the width 100 mm, same with the height. Four main specialties. First can be controlled by human, second live stream video, third detect obstacle, and fourth detect location by GPS. Controlling the CPR. The CPR can be controlled by Blink app. It can be moved forward, backward, turn left and right. Live streaming video. This video show us the ESP32 camera is recording live streaming video. Sensor on CPR. We use ultrasonic sensor to detect obstacles. This video shows us the distance value that being calculated by ultrasonic sensor. GPS. The GPS will show the location of the robot by sending us latitude and longitude of the location. The screen recorded video show us the reading of longitude, latitude, satellite connection, speed, direction, and map by Bling app on mobile phone. That's all for me. Thank you.